hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. My people, <laughs> information reaching us right now is that uh, Olori Mariam have been in tears over what uh, the elders did to her and her family. We do know that they said she have come back uh, recently saying that she is pregnant. <laughs> hey, Toby don't start with her own. Finally, Toby don't born children. Now it is uh, Mariam's turn. They say, Mariam, don't they parade herself as a pregnant woman? She don't they carry herself like say she they born today, she they born tomorrow. And they said don't be smart, you know, when she entered the palace, they said they locked her outside. I don't know the reason. Maybe she must have committed one thing or the other because when I know say she always they commit. So when they uh, locked her out of the palace, she went to Ojaja Hotel and uh, stayed there. After which they said she went to Kwara. I don't know where she went to Kwara to do. The next thing she came back with her family members saying that, uh, uh, okay, they said she called a meeting where the elders and the king was present. And when they were having the meeting, they said she was the one telling them, you know, a married woman telling the people where she's married into that uh, they don't, that in their culture, that people don't, uh, pregnant women are not supposed to be outside their husband's, uh, their husband's house, as in, according to her, that in the life of a kingdom, their culture states that they don't, uh, that a married woman, someone that is pregnant for the king cannot stay outside the palace. And they said the moment she, she spilled that, about two or three elders rushed her to shut her up, as in, they said the way they did it was so embarrassing to her. She never expected it. And the fact remains that it was, I'm sure it was some elders who told her that uh, CEO, this and that. Because from what we are hearing, we heard that when they bribe these elders, they will be giving them information, you know, both the ones that are true and not the ones, and the ones that are not true, just to ensure that they see what they used to fight the king. <laughs> and this time, maybe they must have fed her with the wrong information. Because she believes strongly that, as it is right now, that the king cannot push her out of the palace when she comes back to say that she is pregnant. And the fact remains that you cannot tell her, no, you are not pregnant. After all, uh, they said, it's only a woman who knows whether she is pregnant or not. And since there is no distance, you cannot... Uh, uh, uh. So they said when she, she made mention of that, that uh, because she's pregnant, nobody can throw her out of her matrimonial home. They said they shunned her big time. <laughs> so they say she started shedding tears because you know, it's always easy for her to shed tears. And it is always easy for her to commit. <laughs> okay, now they said those elders told her that, look, oh, the only thing that their culture forbid is the king seeing uh, um, uh, uh, new, newly born children until some months, maybe some weeks. That if, if, if even if, as in, if, if they will check it from what she's saying, that she's supposed to be outside. Because if you remember, you find out that when Queen Naomi was pregnant, she was outside. She left the palace. Yes, the same thing goes to Toby. Toby have been outside the palace ever since she's pregnant. So if Mariam claims that she's pregnant, it is high time she leave the palace now. Uh -huh. So that uh, the king will not, by any means, in case she bomb a uh, 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 baby by, uh, by, by mistake, the king will not see it. So they said they told her that that is not their culture. That which, uh, any elder that is feeding her with that is just deceiving her. That she should go back and collect her money from those elders that she is bribing. That that is not their coach. <laughs> My people, not be smart, you know. Now they said uh, she was in shame, as if she was in tears. You know, every little time she would start crying. They said, you know, they had her to cry. She started shedding tears, saying that the king is humiliating her in front of, uh, that the king is supposed to be protecting her. The king is trying to put her out there for humiliation by the elders and all of that. And I said, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Anyway, guys, when I hear this, I say, now, nah, wow, this life, you know, the, you know, balance at all. Now, maybe she thought that uh, by the time she come back to claim that uh, she is pregnant, 
that everything will be in her favor. Everybody will be speaking in her favor. The king will say, okay, because she's pregnant, let her stay. After all, Toby said she was pregnant, and after everything, she was pregnant. But let's not forget that Lydia don't talk and say, our auntie B, no, they see her flow again. Mm -hmm. And this happened long ago, even before she met Kabiesi. So, I don't know, maybe in a miracle, Sha, in a no say miracle, they happen. A miracle, no, they tire Jesus. <laughs> hey, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace, so I wasn't there. It's a disclaimer. They are not for sound information, okay? Thanks for watching. Share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. If you are watching me from Facebook, follow this page for more and share my video. I love you guys. Bye for now.